little cricket here. I may have to pull the cricket out of here. Um, this morning, she was having a real hard time. The leg was really out, and that wing that's right above the leg was she was flexing it backwards, kind of like she had a sprain on the wing. Um, I may have to pull her inside and put a, a band aid, just like you do a spraddle leg. Don't do my my ankles have been chewed up. Uh, just like you do a spraddle leg, and see if I can actually help her a little bit. I don't, I don't think it's actually spraddle leg. I think it's a it's a defect. But I'm going to see if I can... Uh, she's walking better than she was this morning. She might have just got her trampled on or something. But um, I'm going to see what I can do for her. And uh, just watch her a little bit. Maybe pull that leg in under her a little bit. She acted like it hurt her this morning. And the wing hurt her. It, she kept flexing it behind her like uh, it had, she had sp sprained it. Um, so I'm going to have to put her in the house. I told my husband, he has to go to Walmart. I said, look for, see if you can find a rat, like a rabbit cage, but a smaller one than that great big one. So I can pull her inside without having that giant, giant thing. And I want to see. She's walking better than she was. Maybe she just got hurt this morning. Um, but we'll see. But we're going to see because I think she might be a girl. I think Cricket might be a girl. I don't know. That comb is really little. It's not getting bigger. It's not getting pink. I don't know. And they're almost three weeks old, so... I just don't know. But we'll see if we can make it better. If we can't, then, you know, I don't know. Um, if she can walk, even if she has a limp or something, if she can walk, she's okay. I'm not going to euthanize her if she can function. Um, you know, that's the thing. Uh, this is not a breeding flock, per se. It's not breeding for, um, uh, you know, to, to sell things or whatever. I mean, I don't know. It may just be a defect from being in the egg in a bad position. Sometimes that happens. It just, it, all kinds of things happen that has, you know, may not be anything that can be passed on. But, uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the little girl and see what happens. I think she's a little girl. We'll see. I mean, you never know. I, I give up. You know, the best sexing method is the wait and see method. <laughs> That's what I always say. And it's not always easy. I hope, I just hope all the Easter eggers are girls like they were sexed. And if they are, hallelujah. <laughs> I just want to see if I got... I just got to see what my boy is, my coaching boy. Um, I don't know. I think one of the coaching, buff coaches may be a male. The feathers are really uh, gold gold, and that tends to be a, a male. So we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Time will tell, as always. Um, and that's the other one right there that has a little waddle. Waddle in the walk. Got a waddle in the walk. Could be their buff coachings that they are producing uh, have some had a little issue. It could be that they have an issue. You know, it could it could very well be in their buff coaching line at Cackle. Um, sometimes that happens. They may have some with flaws like that. Okay, I'm sorry. The door blew open. Oh my goodness! It's very windy today. It's supposed to be high 60s, but it's very windy today. And the door blew open, kids, and it freaked everybody out, didn't it? I think, I think I got a little splash coaching boy, maybe. We don't, I don't know, but I see some little pink in some of the combs, maybe. It's hard to tell with a red light. We'll see. But I'm going to pull her in there. We'll find out if um, she's got something that can be fixed. Will you look at that? Leave it to an Easter egg or to fly. They tend to fly better than a lot of others. <laughs> Did everybody finish their eggs? Did you finish your eggs? There's still a little bit of egg in there. Not much. Not really much, is it? Not much, huh, guys? I got them some scrambled egg this morning. Okay, now Cricket, see, she can get run over in this group. And if, if somebody lands on her, look. If somebody lands on her when she's walking and her pushes her leg out some more... That's why I need, think I need to put a band-aid on it just for a little bit and see if it's something that can be fixed. I don't know if it can. It didn't appear, appear like a spread leg situation. Not from the brooder. Usually that comes from a brooder situation with slippery flooring. It can also be a defect. Uh, it could be malposition in the egg. It could be... Who knows? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. It could be a genetic uh, problem that they have with their joints. I don't know anything about cackle. I just know they have a better reputation than some. Um, I've had a lot of failure to thrive issues with birds from Ideal. Uh, yeah, I would never advise Ideal poultry. I'm sorry, Ideal, but, you know, you, I've had some crappy birds from you. So, 
Yeah, they're doing they're doing okay. I just have them kind of worried about little cricket. I think I need to do something and see if I can help her a little bit. So we'll let you go. Catch you later.